they put so much work into it. You'll be a little surprised maybe with what I do and do not use on it. It's, it's a world of its own. Like it is something special. Guten Tag. Welcome to Krautsalat. I am Eric, an American living in Germany. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different and a little bit special. You've seen and heard me talk about metal. You've seen and heard me talk about beer. You've seen and heard me talk various things about Germany. But today we're gonna talk about food. Something for the bellies. A lot of you call this barbecue, BBQ. We're gonna cook on the grill. I want to point out the way that this word barbecue is so freely used. I have learned that it means one thing to the Germans and to Americans, this word barbecue, you have to be very careful how you use it because it's meant so much differently. Many Americans take their barbecue very seriously, especially when, once you get into the South or like, Kansas City, for example, is known for its own barbecue taste. In many places, if you talk about barbecue and a hamburger in the same sentence, these people are gonna kill you. Think about the German and their beer. This is a good example for many of you Germans. If I start talking about beer, I lift up a Kulsch to my mouth, most of you are gonna lose your mind. Gosh, damn it. Huh. That's not a beer. Well, that's the same thing with a lot of Americans and barbecue. If you throw a hot dog on the grill or a hamburger and call it barbecue, most Americans are gonna wring your neck for that. They put so much work into it. Barbecue is more than ground up beef. Like this, this pulled pork barbecue, it's, it's a world of its own. Like it is something special. You have to be really careful using the word barbecue. I wanna reference another YouTube channel, another American in Germany called Passport2. He made a video about this same topic. Germans never use this word right. He's talking about barbecue. And so you have to be really careful. Today, my topic, my subject is food and barbecue. But where I grew up in Wisconsin, we called it grilling. Like it was just the grill. So for me and where I came from personally, I'm totally fine with a good cheeseburger, some sort of sausage or something, a brat, and that's my idea. Like that's, that's me and grilling. I will make with you my own cheeseburger, my own special cheeseburger. I've been asked about this a few times. I don't have any crazy recipe or anything. You'll be a little surprised maybe with what I do and do not use on it. I will show you and I will deliver a mouth-watering good cheeseburger. First thing, when you gotta prepare everything that you need, all of your ingredients and whatnot, but the first step is always having a beer. I like you beer, for that. I like beer, I don't know if you do. Okay. You like beer, Senator? When you're grilling at home, when you're barbecuing, if you don't have a beer in your hand, I'm probably not gonna take the food seriously. It's just one of those things because it needs to be casual, it needs to be relaxing. I'm gonna get ridiculed for this. I'm drinking a festival beer and many of you know why this is a festival beer. I don't need to explain, but it's a cheap one. This just happens to be what I've got today and it's, it's fine. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna keep this a bit simple. I'm making my cheeseburger. I prefer ground beef, Rinder Hackfleisch. I don't like, for my burgers, I don't like the stuff that's mixed with pork. I just, that's, that's my personal taste. I don't, I don't like it. So, so straight ground beef and take it out of the package, throw it on the floor, do what you want. We've got the ground beef. My secret, my little secret, I'll share this with you guys. My taste, I don't do anything too special. I add steak seasoning. No sauces or anything, I'm not a sauce guy. Steak seasoning, this one is a barbecue steak. Gewurz salts, this is my only little secret. I add this in because 
using using ground beef and steak seasoning like if if this stuff is good enough for a steak it's going to be good enough for my burger so that's i'm not i'm not thinking too big the amount used is up to you you will have to try it a few times to see what works i've got about 500 grams of this meat Got to keep the patty intact. Nope. It's dead. Two more real quickly. Oh, that one is a bit heart-shaped. Somewhere deep down in my heart. So we've got the patties made. Iceberg salat. I'm going to cut tomatoes. Oh, look at this. Wait. Snack time. So there's our little dinosaur toy. It's fun. Get good fresh tomatoes. That'll be better. Yeah, this will be good. Cut this very carefully. This is Japanese steel. I'm a big fan. My cheese of choice is cheddar. So that will go on the top. We've got our preparations for the simple burger. Now, let's go out and fire up the grill. Now we're outside at the grill. We've got this fired up. The coals are nice and hot. I got my grill beer in my koozie. This is going to go quick because the coals are hot, which is totally fine. I mentioned the steak seasoning. Any good barbecue grilling stories? Let's see, I'm trying to think of something. I think everyone's got a good grilling story, right? Some sort of horror story? I've never burned myself. Have you ever burned yourself while grilling? <laughs> I don't want to get too um, morbid. Like, I hope no one has really hurt themselves, but let me know if you have, because we all do stupid things from time to time. I've got some of these mini Berner Würstchen. And for my vegetarian friends, I do, I do have some grill queza. Oh, God damn, that looks good. Oh, but look at that, that's... I don't care who you are, that looks perfect. And I've learned this, this grill queza, I think this is a little bit more German, we don't have this in the US. At least I never had it. Okay, I'm gonna try to... I need to be a little bit careful with these buns. We're gonna toast our buns, we're gonna put the cheese on that toast. I'm gonna set that one there. And, okay, I had planned to do a little bit more storytelling or something with this, but the grilling is going kind of fast, so I don't wanna ruin anything. We can tell stories later around the campfire, how about that? All of that looks very good, and I'm happy with that. So let's move inside and get the toppings. Okay, I I need to try this while it's still hot. Let's. I know my taste. <laughs> this is perfect. Hmm. <laughs> <coughs> I got pat myself on the back because that was good. I know my taste and I share with you now how I like to eat my burger. I know that a lot of you out there take a lot of pride in doing this. The grill queso is good. Coming from Wisconsin and I hope some people out there know what I mean. 
I know a few of you from Wisconsin have commented on the videos, so I know some of some are watching. This reminds me the texture, cheese curds from Wisconsin. Some of you will know, like the way it, it squeaks in your teeth. Going back to burgers and grilling, barbecue, whatever you want to call it. I know a lot of you out there take a lot of pride in this. So if you're in Germany, maybe we'll try something. Like let's, let's, let's find the best grilled burger in Germany. Already at the moment, I know I've got a good friend here in Hanover that makes a damn good burger. Oh, I've mentioned him in a, in a past episode, a past video. Chris Kaler, one of the guys along the lines of me coming here to Hanover. Chris made, he's made the best burger that I've eaten in Hanover so far. Him and I have already talked about doing it again. And so maybe this is, this is the call out. I'll have to meet with him and have another burger. Let's try to find the best grilled burger in Germany. So here's my burger. I showed you exactly how I like my burger. So let's, let's try to find the best grilled burger in Germany. We will put in the description below an email. How about if, if you think you've got a great burger that you want me to try, send us an email with your information, take some photos. We want to see the burger. We will pick out some good ones and we will come to you and taste test your great burger. Let's have a great burger together. All right, now let's, I need to finish this. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Below you find the information for our merch, buy some t-shirts. Thank you to those that have already been picking those up. That's awesome. Sending me those pictures, keep doing that. Find me on Instagram and Facebook. Send me the, the photos of you wearing the t-shirts because I love it. I, I really appreciate that, that's awesome. Till next time, fire Robin.